All right, this is Zeddy, and um, I am going to try to do a firmware update, which is interesting because you don't typically see uh, that you have a firmware update in GNOME on the OS. The only other laptop I've seen do this would be the Microsoft Surface. Uh, that's because there's a high level of integration uh, of the software and the hardware, uh, just like Mac does. And so System76 is just one of those laptops companies or computer companies that um, try to merge, um, try to work Linux and their own operating system, which they designed themselves called Pop OS, with their hardware. And with that kind of integration, you get stuff like this where, you know, it's a firmware. And this is a really new uh, model that came out. So as you can see, the original firmware only came out on, um, or written <laughs> and released um, December 4th, 2020. As we speak right now, we're on the 17th. So that's really new. Um, in fact, um, I just received this yesterday. So obviously the firmware must have been written before they um, finalized the hardware and shipped it, started shipping the hardware. But here is a new one that came out or released. Uh, it looks like it says the 15th. So just two days ago. And another way to see some integration is if I go to, um, let's go to activities. I think I showed this earlier. I'm gonna start searching for that application. I think it was like system 76 driver. So there's an app that they created. It even shows the model, make model and everything. So that's really cool. The driver version. All drivers been applied, nothing to do. You can create a log file, restore system, which I don't, it's grayed out right now. So I don't know why that is. Maybe there's a way to actually do a backup so you can have the ability to restore. Or maybe there is no restore partition right now because I reinstalled this OS a couple times. Um, so let's see what happens if you click there. Ah, a log file is created so that like if their support team needs it. All right, purpose of this video, I just want to do a firmware update live. Well, not live to you, but I just want to catch it in action. And the reason why is because you can only do this once until there's a next, until there's a new one. And I don't know when there's going to be a new one. So let's just do this one on video. So I capture it for you guys. Reboot and install. Okay, interesting. It boots up to this. I'm guessing it's part of their core boot. Alright, so actually it is waiting for me to do some action. It does say booting from item 1776, boot override. Files found, currently this date or this version. The embedded controller is found. Embedded controller is that current version. Hit enter to commence. System may reboot. I'm gonna hit enter. CI, flash BIOS, and it's going.
fan just kicked off. And it looks like it's done. didn't reboot. I think it just turned off. All right, well, I'm gonna turn it on. There we go. Or not. I can hear the fan. Oh, there it goes. All right, it says all updates applied successful. Hit any key to restart. Okay. And there you have it. white balance on here, the auto white balance on my camera kind of sucks. This is the Pixel 4, if you guys are wondering. All right, so let's go to settings. There you go. And there's the new firmware that it's listed. Exciting, huh? Well, if you own a System76 and you haven't had a firmware update yet, or you're getting the Galago 5, and you have one of the original units like me, one of the first ones that came out, um, where they haven't installed the, f uh, the firmware out the door, this is what you're going to expect. When you first receive it, you're going to receive a notification. And it's just a matter of um, getting it installed. And there's going to be more tests. Right now, I'm trying to, trying to get them to send me another unit back. Because one of the reasons is I cannot get into the system. The screw is really stripped. There is no screw on that side. Here's one that's a little better condition. But yeah, they're 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 pretty they're not the best looking screws. It did look like maybe they didn't set their screwdriver's torque limiting limiter correctly or maybe it failed on them. Um I called their support. They're going to send me an advanced replacement. Um, look at that one. Look at that one. That one's bad. So, yep. They're going to send me another one. And I'm going to send this one back um, when they send me the uh, replacement. It's like an advanced replacement. So, I guess now that you guys see the serial number, it doesn't matter. Because I'm going to get another unit anyways. But, um... I haven't even been able to, you know, upgrade my system. I have this available and I'm ready to install this. Uh, currently got 500 gig. This is a Western Digital Blue 500, SS, um, 500 gigabyte SSD drive and, and 500 and um, it's a uh, 8 gigabyte. RAM, DDR4-3200, a single stick, but I'm going to be putting this in here instead, which are G-Skill Rip Jaws, DDR4, 32 gig total, so let's see how well this will do. Now they can't even put it in here to, to test anything else, because I can't get into this, um, into the unit. 
because of that one dang screw. Um, but System 76 is going to take care of me, so I'm good. Hopefully. But I'll update you guys when, <laughs> when I get the new one. All right. See you guys. Bye.